I spent some time traveling the world and studying sustainability. What I saw, looking around and trying to understand what makes communities and organizations and even civilizations tick, is that we have this resource management relationship with the natural world. The Presumpscot River is one of these acupuncture points, a transition from the old story, the old industrial way, to this new story of a society that's much more integrated with the natural world and the requirements of a healthy ecosystem. We have a state with some of the most incredible waterways, rivers and streams and lakes, and we have about 1,100 dams blocking all of those streams and waterways from the ocean. In Portland Harbor, we have a working waterfront that's still a working waterfront, but part of the reason that the working waterfront has been degraded is that the fisheries themselves are not so vital right now. The ground fishing stocks have been depleting, and why is that? Partially because fishing technologies, the capabilities are amazing, and so we've been overfishing, but at the same time, we want to eat fish. And in order to get those fish populations restored, we need to provide the feedstock, the little fish that our big fish, cod and haddock, eat. And all those fish spawn up in our rivers and lakes. Those dams are OK. They're OK generating power. But we do need to create fish passage around them, at the very least, so that our feedstock fishery is spawning and then going back out into the Gulf of Maine and feeding our cod and our haddock and so on. And so the Presumpscot River uh, is just in the midst of transforming back into a healthy, biodiverse waterway and watershed.